Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 6th of June. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to give you a broad overview of what to expect, but then please stay with me. I will dive deep and give you in forensic detail each of the 12 zodiac signs, which you can watch in terms of your ascendant or the sun. Now this week, the sun continues in the sign of Gemini. That's quick-witted, agile, and obviously very much to do with communication. But on Tuesday, we do have a quarter moon. Now, Gemini is a mutable sign, and the quarter moon on Tuesday is in another, the sign of Virgo, which just happens to also be governed by Mercury, the planet that's influential to both. So this suggests that when it comes to what we're trying to achieve this week, we could almost try a little bit too hard. This can create a lot of nervous tension. So one of the keys is going to be to set reasonable expectations of what we want to pack into this seven days. And in fact, although the sun is occupying uh, the quick-witted Gemini, the ruler of Gemini and that quarter moon of Virgo, Mercury, that's now going forwards in Taurus, the sign that precedes Gemini. Now that's very much about resources and Mercury forges a really positive link with Pluto this week. Perfect for penetrating deep into any matter, but also a much more spiritual alliance with Neptune saying that however practical and precise we try to be, also important to listen to our sixth sense. But Mercury's in a much more challenging right angle to Saturn as is the North Node. And this suggests that collectively, this new financial reset, which has really been evolving since January the 18th, when the North Node moved into Taurus, and even further back, when Uranus moved into Taurus full time from far March 2019, that is going to be something that we all much more can become aware of, because Saturn, the planet that sets boundaries, is in the sign of the collective of us all, the sign of Aquarius. Now later this week, however, there is a wonderful connection between the ruler of the sign of Taurus, uh, Venus, and also Uranus. Now, if you're in a long standing relationship, this is a great opportunity to try to uh, do something more spontaneous and off the cuff. If we surprise a partner um, in some kind of way, that can add that spark that is so important to maintain. Then again, if you're single, this could also see a surprise date or invitation come almost from nowhere because with Uranus, things happen very quickly. But Uranus is also the planet that in mythology rules the sky, but also is the planet of truth. So Venus being the planet of relating in its governorship of Libra, but very much more to do with resources in the sign of Taurus, it does suggest that something unexpected can happen around a financial event as much as a, a, a relationship. So a week to really pace ourselves, not get too hyper with that third sixth house energy on that quarter moon, and just be aware that there could be opportunities to become much more aware of how we can use our finances in a more effective way. But if your situation is more uh, challenging, the reality of that can be quite tough from that abrasive angle between Saturn and Mercury, which could lower spirits a little bit. But with that Gemini energy in the mix, our ideas and our ability to keep thinking forwards in a, a bright way where we're checking out things and just seeing if we can develop or evolve to manage our circumstances more effectively, that's also very much there to assist us. If you'd like to ascend above this zodiac broadcast and understand how more serious astrology can influence your life, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data, I can give you a roadmap that can guide you for the rest of your life. And also in my special package, you can get a 12 month personal forecast. No two charts are the same, totally unique to the person they're produced for. And you can get also 30% off. Please see the link below. 
Also, thank you so much if you've subscribed to my channel already. If you've yet to do so, I'd be honoured if you did so now. I'm very close to the 100,000 mark. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Thank you. So Libra, your weekly forecast for week commencing the 6th of June can see you thinking very deeply about a, a situation that could feel quite charged. It may have a psychological dimension to it. It could be linked to a, re a relationship with Saturn in a brittle right angle, an abrasive right angle to Mercury, the planet of communication. But Mercury's helping you to dive deep. It is traveling forwards now, and it is, in its link to Pluto, going to add to your psychological perceptions. It's also forging a very subtle, but potentially healing link to Neptune. So that can help you to work some things out in a way, uh, almost like repoint your thinking in a way that's good for you. The sun, however, continues to be expansive, gives you an appreciation of opening up your world, of traveling, higher education. And by the end of the week, as your ruler Venus aligns with Uranus, the planet of surprises, you could have a brilliant brainwave around, around a business idea or how to deploy your resources more creatively. Now, of course, the eighth house can also be where we're most devoted or where we're drawn to someone in the most mesmeric way. So Venus being the planet of allure in the sign of Taurus, and of course your ruler in terms of relating could see a sudden connection to someone that could set your pulse racing as this week draws to a close.